Hello Tube Says, it's Gav and welcome to another video and welcome to the year 2020 should you be looking miles in the future uh, this is how we made videos in those days bad lighting <laughs> no script uh, you've seen the title yes Gav has got round to beginning the Sea Fury from Airfix the one in 48 scale and I'm also using this from Sam Publications as uh, as my reference guide. This is what I mean. Kits cost me a fortune because I always then have to have the excuse of going out and getting the book. Um, I am thinking of doing a bit of uh, look into this as we go. Uh, I go. I, I do worry about copyright, but at the same time, everybody else seems to do it, and nothing gets said. And also, I'm pumping these books because these are absolutely fantastic. You cannot go wrong with a Sam Publication book of whatever. Aircraft, and um, you know that I've got probably five at the moment. Um, this being the latest one, this one cost me. I got it on eBay. Cost me slightly more, but a lot less than I would have got it um, original price. Uh, but yeah, we'll have a look at that in a moment. So join me down at the bench, and uh, we'll we'll have. I've got absolutely hardly anything done. Uh, usual story background to this. I uh, was painting naps from about. Uh, 10 o'clock in the morning yesterday till about 9 in the evening with lunch breaks and I do allow myself those um, and yeah I was, I was painting the naps and I thought do I carry on till because I don't know about you guys but in the UK wherever we live it seems to be like Beirut um, with the, the you know the explosions going off with the, the fireworks and stuff and I thought well, there's no point going to bed the wife, wife was lying in bed reading the tablet uh, Pop slept through all the way through it. Now my older one that passed away, he was terrified. Didn't mind shotguns, but was terrified of fireworks for some reason. Uh, Archie just slipped through the whole lot, didn't care. Um, so I, I thought, right, it's about nine o'clock-ish, and I thought, Pink Panther, Fury. And as I said on my last video, I know what I'd do. I love my aircraft, don't get me wrong. But that Starfighter put a real mental block, if I need anything else. Uh, like doing the aircraft because I'm terrified of the seams and everything. I but that was the whole idea of getting this one. I love this particular aircraft, and I thought get the larger scale and maybe work with the seams a bit better. To you know, I don't know, waffling like a newbie really it might make no difference whether you do it in 132, 148, or 172 scale. Um, so uh, yeah, I've just I just decided to start cutting some pieces off. Obviously, I, I knew I was going to have to prime them. And uh, and obviously get some colours down, you know, 24 hours later or whatever. So there's not a lot done, but I wanted to kick the new year off with a new video uh, and show that I'm finally getting the courage to have a go at the next aircraft. So let's join me at the bench and we'll have a quick look. Right, guys. Uh, sorry if there's any background noise. Uh, my wife is actually jet washing my car and her car off. <laughs> Priorities, eh? <laughs> model building, making videos, wife, uh, wife washing down vehicles. I'm in the uh, fortunate situation that she says I scratch them every time I, I try and put a sponge or anything to them, so she does them all. Brilliant. Um, says I can't do a straight line on a lawn either, so I don't have to do that. <laughs> oh, manipulation. <laughs> right, guys, let's get back to uh, the problem in hand. So, yep, yeah, I'm building my... Uh, my cockpit up. Uh, I decided not to do this separately. This part, um, I'm not sure yet whether I'm going to paint it uh, the deck or decal it. The deck will seem nice and bright and whatever, but uh, I do see some people seem to prefer to dry brush rather than decal. So I'm not, I'm not 100% sure on what I'm going to do with that. But yeah, some nice raised detail there. Um, we'll have a quick look at this uh, this book afterwards. Um, I won't show the colour profiles in it and stuff because that's that would be a bit cheating, but just give you an idea. But uh, yeah, that's my first bit of the cockpit. Oh, I should put it there. I don't know. Um, this is what's. I'm not going to try and put this together. Uh, only roughly. Um, but it's obviously. Uh, it's obviously the seam lines that always scare me to death. I just can't seem to, or I couldn't on the Starfighter. No matter how much I worked on it, I couldn't seem to get 
the seam lines um, sorted. Uh, I knew this had happened trying to do it on camera. But anyway, you get what I've got to do there. I've taken it off the sprue, just cleaned it up as best I could on where I've nipped it off. And uh, obviously that's got to have some uh, prime around here. Uh, that, that shouldn't be on show actually. That's something, that, see that's late at night. I don't know if that's going to be on show or not. I'll have to look in the, uh, I don't know if that's going to be on show. Uh, I'll have to look in the instructions, see where things are. are. Um, and then yeah, we've got the, the spar. Obviously a bit of that's going to be on show because we've got um, some rivets in there. I'm not going to, um, if there is any riveting that needs doing and stuff, I'm, I'm just making this, there's no, apart from maybe some seat belts, quite a nice seat, um, but it'll need some seat belts. Um, but I'm not going to go over the top, as I say, it really is, let's just try and do the basics first. Uh, this had got a, um, some sink marks in, as you can see, there, I thought I'm not going to be a masochist when I when I did a dry fit. They're not on show at all, so cleaning one at the corner. But these two whoppers were, so I filled those last night and given them a sand. I mean, I look, it looks like though. I've used a smooth one on, although I can see a bit of a ridge there, so I shall have to have another go on that before I start painting them. Um, this spar seems slightly, slightly wonky. It's not down to me for a change. Uh, but it doesn't seem to throw anything out at the moment. Uh, there seems to be quite nice fitment, as in getting you to put it where they want you to. So, uh, yeah. The Gav says that, and there's, there's that one sticking out if you look underneath, but I don't know, is that on show or isn't it? And that's really what I've done apart from a couple of other little pieces that make the cockpit tub up. Uh, I've got a question for you guys as well. Um, I bought this the other day with some paint uh, that I was uh, getting for the for the Merkava. Um, and Sausage Fingers Gab managed to order two of them. <laughs> so, oh, it's I tell you. Uh, now, as you can see here, that's what it says on the thing, and it says use their Extreme Cleaner. Now, all you knowledgeable guys, I'm getting a bit tired. I keep buying, as a newbie, I keep buying one after the other. This is AK, um, and I keep buying one different thinner after another. I've got the, um, is it the the hob the, oh, the self-leveling is it guns or whatever that big one with the blue blue lead. Uh, I use that for the for the primer that I've got, the Mr Hobby primers. Uh, I've got um, thinner for my Vallejo. This is obviously all for the airbrush, uh, and I've got um, the best thing is actually AK's uh, one for their real colours, but it can get used in anything else, and it goes great with the MIG, uh, great with the AK. So I'm thinking, why can't I use that thinner? That I pr presume the same for the clean out, particularly of your airbrush. But surely, I mean, I use alcohol to clean my airbrush out. Um, surely it would be able to clean this out, but I don't want to go stuffing my any of my new airbrushes up. So. Fellas, what's your answer? Do I have to buy their, are they just trying to sell their own cleaner? Or, um, you know, or, or, or do you recommend that uh, this is some special extra hard thing that's gonna knacker my airbrush up if I don't use their, their cleaner and to thin it and to get, you know, to, to get it rid of it and clean the airbrush up afterwards? I'd, uh, I'd like to know if possible. So that's the kickoff for the Sea Fury. Uh, you know, it's. Um, I just want. I would just like this to go. Uh, um, you know, n well. <laughs> I don't know what else to say to that. Um, let's just see. No. But no, you, you can see by by this. It's a fantastic book. Um, I'm not going to go delving deep into it. Uh, I just want to um, show you a couple of couple of things. See, we've got original black and white artwork, photographs, colour, um, and there we go. And I'm using this purely as an advertisement for Sam Publications because I think this stuff is absolutely their books are absolutely fantastic. Uh, they come in thinner and thicker versions depending on what they need to say about the aircraft. 
Uh, I will be filling you a few a few uh, bits and bits of knowledge about the the Sea Fury as we go uh, in the future videos. I have started writing it down because I'm sure you're all interested. <laughs> Uh, but uh, no, um, can't recommend these these reference books enough. Uh, if you've got a project, uh, you know that you you prepare. You know, if you know there's a particular aircraft you want, um, you know, to have one of these in your inventory, uh, whatever it is, um, you know, you, you can't go wrong. So, guys, thanks a lot for stopping by on this uh, this first video. Uh, we will see each other, I presume, in the next uh, week or two with a with an update on this. Uh, I've got uh, the regiment, they're not base, but the regiment of 18mm Prussians, that commanding officer that I'd left out by mistake, all that's done, so we'll have a video on them in the next couple of days. I've got an Italian Dragoon regiment, uh, I might be able to show them both at the same time, I'm going to, have to after I've finished painting this, priming this aircraft, and the Schwimmwagen's getting painted as well in a minute, uh, we'll see some 18mm uh, Italian Dragoons as well, so... Take care of yourself, guys. Once again, hope 2020 is going to be fortunate for you. And, uh, you know, you, whether it's figure painting, model building, uh, you know, you go from strength to strength. So look after yourselves and we'll see each other soon.